Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So, guys, in today's session, I'll be telling you if you're thinking that along with your job, is it possible to crack gate or ESC, or if you're planning for both simultaneously. So, let me tell you that whether is it possible or not, and if it is, then what are the things you have to do? Okay. Now, before we move, uh, before we move towards this uh, communication of ours, uh, let me tell you a few things that uh, this was told. Uh, this topic, if you ask me that, ma'am, from where do, did you took this topic and uh, why you are focusing on the students who are doing job? Uh, because, guys, there are many factors. First of all, uh, the Telegram group of mine. There are many students who told me that, ma'am, please take this session, take this session. And because of the work, I was just uh, this session was going in pending. So I thought that no, I have to record this session now and uh, i'll be there with you in the slide chat and uh, then we can figure out if you have any more queries uh, so guys uh, this session as i told you this was demanded uh, by students and uh, you can say that uh, why there is a need for job along with preparation you can leave the job and prepare so guys everybody does not have uh, that much good financial conditions and uh, like when i take interviews of esc students who have cleared so uh, generally what happens sometimes it becomes not possible for them to clear it in the very first attempt so they are so stern and they are so firm for their dreams that they are clearing it in the third attempt or fourth attempt just like your UPSC IS this one UPSC ESC also so some people have that passion and that's very much good so do can you clear it along with job of course you can first the answer for it is and how uh, from where do you basically find time because generally what happens is whenever you have to go to office okay you have to go in the job so uh, you have that morning till evening you are stuck in that job sometimes you have additional pressure from the manager from the upper authorities and uh, too much of work sometimes in the weekends as well so you get frustrated and then you think that no fine i can't do it you quit it so today i'll be telling you that how can you find time along with your job okay and what are the things you have to do okay if you are thinking that because if your aim is you are stern in your aim that at any cost whatever happens i'm there to crack it then only you will be able to crack it so that should come from your within if you will listen to motivational lectures and all it will come in within a flash of minutes or a flash of days it goes but it's your self motivation which will be persistent and will allow you to focus more so without wasting time let's start the session today so you guys can know about me if you haven't uh, uh, we are new to me, 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 and you can say like if you are new to this channel and you don't know me, so about me you can go through it. Uh, next, let's talk about how to crack gate and ESC. So first of all, what are the things you have to avoid? So before stepping out, that yeah, fine, I'm ready to prepare. What are the things which you have to avoid if you are preparing for this esteemed examination? First is uh, you don't every time every time you start to prepare you're like oh my god so much syllabus is left i can't do i can't do so let me tell you uh, that's a famous saying this is not my quote this is a famous saying that winners never quit and quitters never win so i've said this many often in um, of my lectures wherever i take that sometimes some students come and write my life is a waste and all those things so guys let me tell you don't quit Go, don't quit the this uh, you can say this uh, type of uh, negativity or you have it in your mind that i can't clear this examination my life will be always there for these uh, uh, basically corporate world or i'll be always in this private job so i can't dream of psus don't think about it okay you have to have that confidence in you that yeah i'll do it i'll fight till the very last i won't just lay my weapons and say that i can't do it i'll use my weapons i'll fight till the very last and then we'll see that whatsoever happens so that's the reason you don't have to quit Secondly, which comes is wasting office time. Okay, so first you have a mindset that fine, I have to prepare one year dedicatedly, I have to prepare for this examination. Now, generally, of what happens is like we have gossips. Okay, we have like uh, uh, music of uh, episodes. We say that some people say, oh guys, you have listened to this new music. Damn, it's good, man. You should listen it. And then you are like in the free time or when you are tired, you'll just listen to it. Or you binge watching, you do it. Or you have office gossips and all those things. I'm not saying that they're good or bad. 
okay i'm not saying it should be done or shouldn't be done that is not a point of discussion what i want to say that this will be your wasting time right now because you are preparing that that job which you are currently you don't want that that's why you're thinking of cracking gate or esc because you yourself want that you have to leave that job and go okay because your aim is to be in psus your aim is to be in uh, an is officer so that's the reason that's the reason as much as possible i can't say that you will completely not do it because sometimes uh, you have you have to you willing to do it but as far as possible try to avoid uh, doing gossip and all in the free time rather use that time uh, in doing your uh, works or you basically doing your works of uh, like uh, solving quizzes or solving test series or solving any pyqs kindly do that <coughs> excuse me okay now coming up next now coming up next so ma'am uh, now you will have a question that means ma'am i should uh, carry a book or something yeah if you don't want your colleagues to know that uh, you are preparing for this examination because sometimes you don't want that okay so in that case i'll advise you to carry a soft copy because this phone is very hard like phone is very handy to everybody now it's password protected everything so whenever you find time take a space start to study start to study concept so that becomes very easy breezy and that office hours which was going wasted in this gossips and all on that the chai break or that sutta break so try to avoid it and utilize that time in your in your studies okay now next comes is distractions see i told you like we have no like uh, generally when you go into the corporate world you have a uh, weekend so like weekends from friday night we have saturday night we have so you have parties loud music hangouts night outs so you have all these things i know this age is when you're preparing you're like you will be uh, 22 something and 28 years this is the age generally when along with job you prepare i guess so your age would be more or lesser also okay i'm just telling the common students age who prepared during this time so uh, these distractions are quite normal and you say that uh, people say abhi nahi karoge to kab karoge that means uh, you have to if you are not doing it now when you will do it so generally these things trigger us and we start to do it and we're like okay fine i'll do it you postpone your studies but you don't postpone this rather what you can do is one year dedicatedly you study specifically you have to study more in the weekends because that is the time when you can focus more okay you don't have any office work and all the, i know that the, like sometimes it happens to you guys you have to wash the entire cloth uh, of that week and you have to fill your groceries i know that happens but then also guys you have to find time okay you have to steal time from everywhere that if you are doing parties hangouts just avoid it for now and focus on your studies okay now next thing which comes is uh, these were the don'ts which i told you the distractions utilizing office time and having a self motivation that yes i'll be able to crack it now uh, basically in hindi we say ki exam ke liye padhne se pehle exam ko padh that is study the exam before studying for the exam so actually without having a proper knowledge you start on fine let's like, it's like a passion we should prepare for the government job along with the preparation along with the uh, the corporate job which we have it so let me tell you it's not the right strategy first study the exam before studying for the exam how what is the level of portions which is asked the number of portions the pattern of portions number of marks duration variety of portions first you should have a thorough knowledge and then you should uh, check your capacity your capability that whether you will be able to do it because thinking that others are doing it if you also think it so that is something is you should know that is it your area of interest will you be able to know that okay fine this is the whole structure number of portion 65 like you talk about in gate the number of marks will be 100 okay and uh, pattern of portions will be like multiple choice portions will be there numerical answer type portions will be there multiple select portions will be there ha huh. one thing which i'll tell you for sure uh, that uh, when you see the data like if i tell for civil one lakh students give so don't get disheartened with the data because that one lakh students will register or they will give out of that hardly 5000 7000 people max to max are serious others are giving just like that 
okay so the people who register who fill the form then who get uh, who practically goes to the examination then also 10, 10 to 20% cut is there so no, not everybody who fills the form gives the exam okay and don't get confused or don't get distracted or frightened with such a large number what you have to do is what you have to do is think that your competition is with the 5000 people and you are struggling for under 100 rank then why do you have to worry with 1 lakh people then okay so that should be a thing so first study the exam what this exam wants from you okay next coming further next coming further uh, basically weekend coaching uh, i don't say that coaching is a uh, very very essential if you are clear with your concepts if you are like thorough with your concepts then i'll say that no need for this weekend coaching but you are like uh, mom at home i don't uh, develop that habit uh, of uh, sitting for 7 hours 8 hours moreover i'm not very much clear with my concepts and i have frequent doubts in more or less every subjects so that time i'll advise you that you have to go for weekend coaching okay then time you have to go for weekend coaching but don't go to any coaching okay what i mean to say is uh, that time just have a check on it the feedback by the students you can go to the portal and check it out or any of your friends you have uh, like uh, many groups and all you can check it there check the prospectors that uh, they will be having the whole outline that uh, we have in how many hours they'll be completing with subject and total at the end at the end basically the syllabus completion will be in which month so that is important so check their prospectors how much you want that uh, this hour this uh, subject should be teach taught in this much hours will is it satisfied by that institute or they are just taking the money and they are running the syllabus so you have to check all these out okay you have to check all these out and then you have to check whether just they are faking it or in actual also they clear their or basically they complete their syllabus or not okay so this is not at all mandatory if you are not clear with your concepts and if you don't and if you don't have that confidence that you yourself can utilize the weekend then you can use this weekend coaching class okay now this is very important guys generally nowadays you have telegram that's a very good source but you are like hungry i want notes from the, of this faculty i want notes of that faculty i want the pdf of this uh, author's book i want the pdf of that author book then you are like uh, more of uh, you have like uh, uh, basically uh, i want two three authors book two three faculties notes then short notes of any toppers so you are like you are hungry for materials and materials and not even one material also you are dedicatedly starting it so that's why want that whatsoever material you select coaching material or books you select try to make sure that it is authentic okay like uh, if i talk about rcc or if i talk of some parts of environment i'm just telling for civil valid for every branches where you have codal provisions it might be possible that that notes which you are having is too old and now the provisions have changed but they are using the old one that can be possible so that is the reason try to have a uh, authenticated study materials as well as the books because i said the uh, more th uh, more books more confusion so that is the reason uh, try to do it and one thing guys wherever i take the interviews of toppers every time short notes short notes short notes because see it is practically not possible that uh, before the exams one month before or 10 days before you will be able to revise the entire syllabus and the entire books not possible but if you have the short notes of every subject you will be able to revise so try to make short notes from the books see i won't tell you that you have to study the whole book okay study for that particular topics where you are finding it doubts because ultimately you are not doing phd your aim is that you have to clear that examination so try to make short notes from the book and do the revision as much as possible otherwise the things which were good you were able to understand if you are not doing revision you will have doubts later on and you will forget also and ma'am what are the sources uh, you know youtube is there nptel is there and many other sites are there many other resources are there from which you can if you don't want to have coaching and all okay you are like ma'am i am clear with my concepts only in a single chapter four five concepts are not clear that's all but otherwise i'm i'm clear with my concepts so if for that reason i won't say that you should join coaching okay but like said na if you are not determined and you you want to clear it but you can't sit for long hours in the weekend on all those things then you should join a weekend coaching otherwise you have youtube nptel and other resources with which you can prepare for this examination next is self study if you are doing a self study what i will say is prepare a whole plan see 
you should have like i'll tell you one thing i have like this notepad uh, notepads in this uh, generally what happens is you say uh, many students say me that ma'am we plan okay but we plan that we will be doing this we will be doing that but we are not able to execute it okay i am not able to execute it bas sochte hai ye karna wo karna hai but jab execution ki bari aati hai to wo ho nahi pata in the you can say beginner stage or the preliminary stage it happens to everybody i tell you not do that same thing for 21 days eventually on the 22nd uh, day you will start to follow it that's that is the 21 days rule so what happens is what i do and i this tell this in all my lectures maximum number of times that guys what i have to do tomorrow i'm not planning for the whole year but at least i can plan for the next day so what i have to do tomorrow i just jot it down in this my notepad okay so at least i could know that uh, what i have to do tomorrow so tomorrow when i wake up i don't have to think what i have to do otherwise i'm wasting my time thinking that what i have to do which subject should i start from where to start so you're wasting the next day instead i plan it on the day before so that i'm clear that i have to do this and this so you have to make plans i'm not telling you to make the yearly plan start with daily plans then make then make weekly then make monthly ma'am what do you mean by making plans see what do you have to do you have to divide the subjects okay you have to divide the subjects like let us suppose geotech is there i'll complete in 10 days uh, transportation is there i'll complete in 8 days so this way you have to do it in the whole structure that till the month of november ending or december first week your entire syllabus should be completed Okay, so this whole plan you have to make. Now, if you talk about that whole summary, what are the things which you have to do? So, let me tell you planning, which I told you. First, start with daily, then weekly, then monthly. Okay, initially, obviously, it happens to everybody. You are also a normal human being. You are not an alien from any other planet. Obviously, planning fails. It fails for everybody. It fails for me also. So that is the reason. First, do planning. It takes time, but once you are uh, keep on doing the execution, you say that now I wrote four five points, but I was able to fulfill only three. That's okay, guys. It happens in the initial phase, but you have to be like next time I'll be able to fulfill more. So you have you should have that potential in you. Okay, instead of thinking devastating yourself, you have to think through that. Okay, fine, I'll do it. okay so planning is important next thing which comes is goals so like what i do and i just tell to everybody that wherever you are studying first of all you should have a proper study don't uh, lie on the bed and study that's the worst thing which you can do it because you start to feel sleepy and lethargic in quite a lesser number of time uh, quite a lesser number of uh, you can say hours so uh, basically uh, use a table and chair for studying and whenever you are studying uh, uh basically in that particular spot put uh, whatever you want like if you want gate or air one so that whenever you are distracted whenever you think of quitting that should come in that i have struggled so much for the 6 months i can't i can't quit now i have to fight back okay so that's the thing which should happen next coming further is notes i told you short notes and you know what uh, i told you that don't waste your office hours if you don't drive and go i mean you use public transport or you use cab try to utilize that time also in a sense means try to uh, like uh, basically you i am not telling that every time open your books but you can have all the notes in your mobile also can't you use the technology so use that time that traveling time also you can use it i'll tell you one thing this i did it so i'm not faking it out you can if you tell i'll tell i'll give the number of my parents also uh, what happens and my friends also when i used to go for 11 12th uh, coaching because that used to be 15 km it is from my home uh, so uh, like uh, my dad uh, didn't gave me scooty to go because he was like uh, there are people who drive very rash so it's better you go by auto so that auto man used to come just after half an hour like 130 my school was to get over and 2 o'clock he used to come so sometimes and many a times actually we i was not able to do the homework of the coaching so i literally i used to do it in the auto now you say ma'am auto is shaking if you just make me sit in auto in train or bus i'll write with the same handwriting which i write it here because 
it came then when you used to go to coaching my coaching uh, that uh, teacher was the was something she used to ask to anybody so we have that insult will happen if we are not able to answer so sometimes when i'm done with my homework i used to revise what she has taught us in the other day so that i want to see that i used to do it in my 11 12 standard so you guys can do it along with your job that time these smartphones were though not uh, that much you can say which you have features that features were not there back in 2011 2012 but uh, right now it is there so kindly use the technology okay start to do it initially you will feel that it's very much um, you can't do it but uh, definitely more or less it will help you for sure and if you don't want to study new things kindly do the revision of the old things that is also good okay last you need to practice 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 see if you are not practicing and you are seeing my concept is good concept is good how can you know when you will practice then only you will come to know no? that whatever you have whatever concepts you have you are able to apply it okay so that's the reason practice is important and revision as i told you if you are not revising waste revision is the key to success see everybody say hard work is as important hard work is important but in today's era along with hard work smart work is also important okay so you have to be smart enough nobody is telling you to read the entire book because i told you na you have to know what this exam wants from you rather than studying like everything and wasting your time suppose let us suppose if a uh, subject comes for 2 marks 3 marks and you are giving a month or two then definitely you are a fool instead you should give uh, time to that subject which is asked for 15 marks 18 marks if you give time one month to that subject obviously it will be beneficial for you rather than giving time for a month or two for a subject which is hardly asked for 2 marks 4 marks so that should be clear in your mind okay so that's the thing and revision obviously i told you steal time from everywhere you can okay and do the revision as much along with that if you have started two months of your preparation it's there you have two months of your preparation is done start to give test series start to give test series okay and uh, if you ask me a last question that uh, mom Uh, because uh, obviously you will be having questions, so you can post me in the comment section if you see this video later. Uh, one thing more, I'll be as uh, telling you uh, that generally uh, students have a doubt how many hours we should study. I don't believe in hours. What I believe is uh, whatsoever target you have it, you should be able to complete it. If you are able to complete it in two hours, if you are able to complete it in three hours, that's more and good. But generally four to five hours you should give, even if you are preparing uh, along with your job. Okay, but in that three to four hours, try to uh, have two subjects. Don't be stuck with one subject. Otherwise, it becomes like you start to get irritated that the subject is not ending. So take a you can say theoretical subject and take a numerical subject so that your brain is balanced. You don't feel irritated. okay and you don't start to feel like devastating and all those things so that is the reason take two subjects and don't take a heavy heavy subjects one take heavy subject one take light subject so that balance is maintained and you are able to grasp more and more things okay so if you have any doubts you can join my telegram group that is civil by richa ma'am and let me know in case you face any other problem and if you want that any other issue which you are facing and you want that i should make video for that do comment it and if you are new then do subscribe our channel and we are happy that if you will join a gate at esc preparation journey with us okay so that's all for today guys take care of yourself bye bye and study hard